Good afternoon, good evening, and let's get started with our Kriya practice. Okay, let's first take the mind. Just get ourselves ready for a beautiful session. So, heels together, toes apart, stand up straight, draw the shoulders back, relax. Bring your awareness to your breath, deep breath in through the nose, out the mouth. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Tap the chin down against the chest. Focus in on the back of your neck. Keep breathing. Now raise the head and very slowly roll the neck. Take it really gently. And relax. Let's move in the other direction. And relax, moving on to your shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. So remember, as we roll rolling back, we're wanting to squeeze the shoulder blades together, drop the shoulders, and roll. Squeeze, drop, roll. Now, let's roll the shoulders forward. And relax. Hands on your hips, feet apart. And swing. A good old favorite. Three. Now let's roll the hips in a circle. There we go. Now let's roll in the other direction. And then relax. Separate your feet. You can put your hands on your hips if you like, or you can hold your hands up here. That's perfectly fine. You're going to lunge into one knee. And the leg that's straight, keep that foot flat on the ground. Tighten the thigh muscle. Lunge. Don't lean too far forward. Keep your posture as upright as you can. Keep your feet at about a 45 degree angle. And then release to the other side. And then back, back. So some people like to hold their hands like this. It can help with a little bit of balance. And as you extend that leg, you're gonna tighten the thigh and breathe. Okay, now let's move with our breath. Breathe in, bend, breathe out, release. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in 
and up. Two more guys, breathe in, out, and in, out. Last one, breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Now, turn your feet so that your feet are parallel. Breathe in, stretch your hands above the head. Breathe out and fold forward, keeping your knees as straight as you can. Try and bring your fingertips to the ground. In this position, if you need to bend your knees a little bit, yes, that's perfectly fine, but try to keep your knees straight. If you feel you need to come a bit further forward, that's also good. Just watch your heels. Try to keep the heels flat. Now, in this position, tilt your buttocks up. Draw the shoulders back. Try to straighten the spine. Look straight ahead of you. You can look straight at the floor if you feel there's a bit too much strain on the neck. Breathe in and out, fold completely. Breathe in, come up onto the fingertips. Breathe out and fold. Breathe in and out, fold. Two more, breathe in and out, fold. One more, breathe in. And out, fold. Bend your knees. Keeping the hands on the ground, walk your feet together, heel toe, heel toe. Bring your feet up together, breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly straighten your spine. And coming back into the standing. Separate your feet approximately shoulder width apart and swing. Come back to the center. Okay, now we're feeling a little bit warmer. Let's move into our clear salutations. Come to the center of the mat, heels together, close apart. Place the crown of the head on the mat. Palms together in front of the head and raise the feet. Breathe deeply. Lower the feet, bring the hands to the sides, slowly raise the hips, and let stand. Come to the front of the mat, sun and moon salutations, we're going to do three rounds. Heels together, toes apart, number one, hands Two, stretch up, lean back. And three, fold. Four, right leg back. Up. And five, left leg back, downward facing dog, push against the hands, tailbone high, navel drawn in, and release, knees down, tuck the elbows in, chin chest to the ground, and then straighten up into cobra. Curl the toes in, pushing up into downward dog. Bring the right leg forward as far as you can, look up. Left leg forward. Straighten up. And palms together. Stretch up, lean back, 13. And 14, fold. And three, left leg back. And 16, right leg back. Down with dog. 17, knees down, chin, chest down. 
and 18. Cobra. 19, downward dog. And 20, left leg forward, look up. 21, 22, 23, and rest. Next round. Moving with the breath, number one, breathe in. And two, breathe out. Three, breathe in. Four, breathe out, right leg back. Five, breathe in, left leg back. And six, breathe out. Seven, breathe in. Lift your knees off the floor if you can. Eight, breathe out. Nine, right leg forward, breathe in. And ten, breathe out. Eleven. And twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, left leg back, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, left leg forward, 21, 22, 23, and rest. Last round. <laughs> okay, this is Ajax, guys. Okay, we're still there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, one more round. Heels together, toes apart. Number one, breathe in. And two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, right leg forward, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oh sorry, just left leg back, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, and 20, left leg forward, 21, 22, 23, and heels together, toes apart, lay down on your back. Allow your whole body to relax just for a moment. Focus on your breath. Thank your body. Moving into our Sadhguru Asana, integral shoulder stand. Raise the legs, bend at the knees. In this posture, you want to keep your back flat on the ground. Keep your knees bent at about a 90 degree angle. Hands on the mat. Rotate the ankle. Rotate in the other direction. Move your feet forward and back. And then side to side. Stop the motion, straighten the knees. Now here, keep your, your back flat on the ground. Focus on tightening your quads, flex your feet. You're gonna feel beautiful strength building here as well as in the abdomen area. But also if you're feeling tight from Tuesday, you're gonna a nice stretch here in the hamstrings as well. Now, if you want to stay in this position, it's perfectly fine. Otherwise, if you're feeling ready, you lift up into the shoulder stand. So, breathe in, buttocks off the ground, tuck your hands under the waist, 
Try to adjust your shoulders. Now, to complete the posture, press the chin against your chest, Jolinda Banda. Keep the legs extended but relaxed. Keep your toes relaxed. And hold it. Breathe deeply. Now let's release the posture, breathe in. As you breathe out, release your chin lock, bend the knees, slowly roll your spine down. Relax your legs. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, swing forward, reach for your feet. Hold onto the feet, draw the head down. And stand. This next posture is called Meenasanam, fish pose. Come to sort of the front quarter third of the mat. Heels together, toes apart. Sit with the legs crossed. In this position, the right leg is always on the outside. Hold onto your feet. Lie back. Pull your feet underneath your bum. If you're struggling to hold onto your feet, release. And place the hands to the sides. Press against the elbows, lift your chest. Tilt the head, place the crown of the head on the mat. Use your elbows as your support. Try to relax the hips. Draw the knees down toward the floor. Now breathe. Now breathe in, out, let's release, breathe in, and out, relax your chest, sit up. Now here, fold at the hip, draw the head down as low as you can. Try not to lift your bum off the floor, draw the head right down. Now, let's roll. Roll back, lift the feet over the head, and roll forward. Take it really slowly. Be gentle with your body. If you find rolling like that is just a bit too much, you can start with just a small movement. And as you gain more confidence, then you can go back further and further until you're confident enough to roll back. But never doubt yourself. It's actually much easier than it looks. Keep going. Let's do three more. One. Two.
and three. The top strands, release your hands, relax. And extend. Okay. We're going to do two more prayer postures. So this next one is called Nindra Kokoasanam, standing crane pose. So it comes to the back of the mat, heels together, toes apart, separate the toes as wide as you can, and then separate your heels. So now you should be about shoulder width and hip width apart. Breathe in, arms up, breathe out and pull. Keep your knees straight. Allow the head and shoulders to hang. It helps if you draw your navel right in. And just hang. Breathe. Now interlock your fingers and both the hands. Let the palms face the ground. And gently bounce at the hip. The objective of bouncing is to take your hands closer and closer to the ground. Now stop the motion, release your hand. Moving into the pranayam, breathe in, stretch up, hands to the sky, breathe out and fold. Two, breathe in and up. Three, breathe in. And out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Stretch up and relax. Heels together, toes apart, come down onto your tummy. Now today we're going to move into the full bow position. So on your tummy, chin on the mat, hands to the sides. Bend your knees, kick your butt. Now stop the motion, reach for your feet, keeping your knees together, draw your heels into your bum. Next release, separate the knees, hands down to the ankles, breathe in and out. Breathe in and lift into bow. Now you don't want to lift it too high. Focus on lifting your knees as much as you can. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening up your heart center and look up. If looking up is giving you a bit of a headache, just look straight in front of you. And now let's rock. Stop the motion. Now let's roll side to side. So first to the left and right. Left, right. Three left and right. Four left and right. Five left, right. Six left and right. Seven left. 
rise. Eight, lift and rise. Nine, lift, rise. And 10, lift and rise. Back to the center. Release your feet. Step the hands on top of each other and rest. In that position, focus on your breath. Just taking a look at a notification that I got here. Okay guys, I've got eight and a half minutes left of this meeting and then I'm going to upgrade to pro. Um, but I've been trying to figure out how to do that. It doesn't seem to be taking my card. So we'll see, hopefully by Saturday, we'll be able to have much longer sessions. Okay. Okay, moving into our recovery posture, place the hands alongside the chest. Now straighten the arms, lift the chest, look up, and then push back. Big toes together, knees wide, brush ups on your heels, reach the arms as far forward as you can, and relax your head. In this position, try to focus as much as you can on bringing your buttock right down onto your heels. Draw your navel in, stretch forward. Let's release. And okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of fitness and toning for this area here as well. Separate your feet, we're going to move into the mal asana position. So Keep your toes to about 45 degrees or so outwards, and we're going to come down into a deep squat. So, in this posture, you've got to try to lift your chest up. Keep your posture as upright as you can. Try not to come up onto your toes. Keep your feet flat. So, you're going to draw your butt down to the ground. Okay, palms are together. Press your hands together. So, use your elbows to squat. Press and not your elbows, your, your knees to squeeze your elbows in so that your palms press together. There we go. So now, while you're, no, what did I say? Use your knees. Sorry, guys. Use your knees to, <laughs> to squeeze your elbows in. Okay. Now, at the same time, while you're squeezing in, you're going to push the elbows out. There we go. Can you feel that resistance? Squeeze and push, squeeze and push. Hold it there, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now bring your hands to the ground, lean over to one side, so I'm bending into my right knee. Any side, as long as you remember which side you've done before. So, fingertips on the ground just to help you with support. And as you lean over, you're going to come up onto the toe that will help you give support to your knees. I'm going to bend to you. The extended leg, tilt your, uh, flex your feet so that your toes are pointed up. And try to bring the back of your knee to the ground. So, you're feeling a beautiful stretch from the groin all the way down to the ankle. Now let's move over to the other side. So same process, extended leg, toes are pointed up, try to bring the back of the knee down, feel this beautiful stretch on the inner thigh. Move back. And now this time, if you can, come up so that your palms are together. 
You don't have to bring the palms together. If you're more comfortable bringing your hands down, that's also fine. We're going to do three sets moving side to side. So let's go. One. Then go. Two. One more. Three. Bring your hands to the ground. Move your hands to the center. Come back up. So here the knees are straight. Try to flatten your hands onto the ground. Allow the head and shoulders to just hang completely. Just relax, breathe. And let's release. Lift your head, bend your knees just to soften them a little. And then feet together, heel toe, heel toe. Deep breath in, and as you breathe out, slowly straighten the spine. And come now to the front of the mat, lie down on your back. Place one hand on the chest, one hand on your belly. We're going to slow the mind down, slow the breathing down. And as you breathe, let the belly rise and fall. And let your hand on your chest remind you of pure divinity, self-love, and compassion. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Now close your eyes. And let's move into the Matrika Pranayam. Breathing in for the count of four, breathing out for the count of four. So we're going to start off with my count. Then I'm going to ask you to continue at your own pace. Then I'm going to say the clear prayer and then I'm going to close off the session. So when we're done, continue with the breathing just for another six or seven rounds until you're feeling really calm and really relaxed. And then you can chill for another minute or 10 minutes, depends on what you want to do, and then release and enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, you guys, I promise next time we'll have a bit of a longer session. So let's begin our Matrika Pranayam. Remember, one hand on the belly, one hand on your chest. Breathe in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. And in, two, three, four. Out two, three, four. Continue on your own. In the radiance of Babaji, in the light of our Gurus, in the glory of Jesus Christ and in the mercy of Allah, we, the divine children of this universe, the divine children of Kriya, thank you for this time and this togetherness. Oh, Shanti. Shalom. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy your pranayam.